Hi everyone, this is the Mighty Cleric and today I'm playing Destiny with my brother and my friend and uh, I'm gonna show you why we're running around on this Cosmodron of the Earth while we're still higher level. Um, it's not to feel overpowered and just kill the enemies ra as we go, it's just actually to to get some spin metal and uh, we've got a certain routine that we follow every day which is basically guaranteeing that we get the most out of the rewards. Um, some people say go to a loot cave. We've tried that. It doesn't work so well because they either nerf the, the loot caves or the drops isn't that uh, that good for the time that you spent there. And later on in the game when you actually reach level 20 and you upgrade your light so that you can become level 30, you need quite a lot of uh, early early game materials to upgrade your weapons and your armor like spin metal for instance which in the beginning we thought what's the use of getting this in a uh, in a chest and a loot chest or just uh, random drops and uh, things like modes of lights and strange coins we didn't really know what the use was now actually we we quite need them a lot so there's a lot of players actually doing this what we think they're doing this because we see a lot of level 27s, level 28s, waiting for this specific um, daily event because as soon as you do a daily event and you get your three stars uh, you can go back to your your uh, post office in the tower or the people sending you messages and you will get a gift every single day for the first one that you do and also we're doing uh, a lot of a lot of these patrol missions um, and Clyde try to upgrade our second uh, ability um, for for every class and upgrade our weapons which we haven't upgraded yet if you've got a purple weapon a blue weapon or even a legendary and also doing chest runs just to see how many chests we can get so that we can get those uh, rare resources or the resources actually in the beginning sounded quite useless but now we need like spin metal or iron relics on mars and helium on the moon so um so this is just this is the easiest one that you can do is going back to earth and waiting for that uh, for that walker to drop at the specific uh, site it drops the randomly or mostly it drops about 15 or 16 minutes for uh, on every hour and uh, it's quite easy because there's a quite a lot of guys waiting for it so you can get that rewards and uh, then what we try to do next, we try to do it daily and once a week try to do the weekly and then play a few crucibles and do the random strikes because uh, we are trying to upgrade from level 25, which I'm stuck at quite a lot now, uh, to the later level. So we've tried to doing the level 28s, the raids, which is said is also very likely that you're going to get a lot of drops, but... Uh, I'm not a very good player at first person shooters in general um, and that's that's a quite daunting a bit for me so um, because you also need like three players in your fire team to do those to do those strikes uh, the three of us just decided listen let's do this and uh, let's try to do as many patrol missions as possible try to do chest runs and uh, and try to do the daily every single day and the weekly at least once or twice a week uh, obviously only get a reward for the first time you do that and uh, also to do this public events and then uh, play crucibles and up until we get the 100 points which you can get a week so every time you upgrade anywhere basically it seems uh, I don't know if somebody wants to confirm this but uh, as soon as you upgrade um, in your cult I'm playing the new monarchy my brother is doing future cult uh, every time you level up and also level up, I think with the Entrocraft you get a gift which could be anything from a rare uh, or mode of lights or even ascending, uh, ascending shards, things that you actually need later quite a lot because sometimes you need like 20 or 30 uh, spin metal and you need glimmer and you need weapon parts maybe for a weapon upgrade. And in the beginning that didn't that wasn't used for it, but now it's it's crucial. Like I've got this purple auto rifle which uh, I got as a reward, and uh, 
and I'm trying to upgrade this one just because in the beginning the gun isn't that good but uh, it's getting better like I had this machine gun uh, orange one which I got on a, a, an orange bounty and in the beginning it was shooting all over the place and was taking a long time reload but now actually it's as as soon as you fire and you miss uh, you've got a good chance that actually the bullets coming back to your to your magazine um, and also I'm trying to to upgrade this part of the, uh, this special ability of the Titan where I actually can help my buddies in in uh, co play or in in the strikes or even in in in, in crucibles where I could actually leave a bubble whereas I prefer going in jumping and just causing chaos so uh, I hope you enjoy it bear with me it's just playing waiting for that that uh, walker to drop and then we're going to the next part Future war calls will pay for confirmation. Okay, scan complete. Your help, Guardians. Dead orbit meat sandwich from around this location. Specifics encrypted for your ghost.
Nice work. I'll let the city know we got it all. Our intelligence on this place is getting too stale. Time to shine some light on it, Guardians. Okay, I'm getting a lock on what's happening here. Well, that's it for today, folks. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.